All right. Well, welcome everybody. I've got 103, and so I'll go ahead and uh, call the uh, the uh, meeting to order. Welcome everybody. Uh, I know it's nasty outside, so most everybody's going to be calling from home, I guess. Uh, but uh, thanks, thanks for being here. Um, you should have a uh, a copy that uh, uh, was sent to you of, of the. Uh, all the paperwork for this meeting. Um, I think, uh, ah, here we go. Great. Thanks, Derek. Uh, uh, Dr. Hamby is taking care of that for us today. Ah, okay. Well, thank you. Um, the uh, first order of business we have is to uh, uh, approve the minutes from our meeting in, uh, in, in January. Um, if you would look uh, look those over, uh, see if there's anything in there that gives you uh, any heartburn, and then I'll entertain a motion to uh, to approve. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes from last session. I'll second that motion. Okay. Uh, we have a, uh, a motion and, and a second to approve the minutes from our January meeting. All in favor, aye. 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 Any opposed? Okay, motion carries. And our minutes from last meeting are approved. Um, old business. Um, we kind of, we kept two items over from uh our meeting in uh, uh in january we elected our officers uh but we wanted to confirm and, and we approved this the stipend and the travel but we just wanted to be sure that all of that uh, was going through and derek i think you were going to check to see uh if there was any any issues i know everyone needed to get a w9 through to you yes yes uh i, uh, I think we were getting pretty close uh, on everybody's, um, I know, uh, Jack was not going to, I know I got one from Keith and Richard and Roger, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, never really heard anything from that. I can think of from Mr. Shelton or Blady. They might've been mailing it in. I can't remember at this point. Okay. So, so it seems like we, we have been getting most of all these in and the mission statement signed. Okay. Okay. Uh, the only mission statement that I'm seeing that I do not have yet would be the one from Harry. Okay. Gotcha. He didn't get his W nine either, though, but not that I'm aware of. No. I'll make a phone call after this. Okay. Yeah. I did mail in mine, uh, the mission statement, and also the W nine together. Okay. All right. Gotcha. All right. Well, uh, and Janet might have that, and she just didn't get it over to me. Okay. She keeps up with that, so okay. I will check on that. Okay. Good. Uh, and Derek, I appreciate you putting in there uh, uh, in our uh, minutes who has attended and who did not attend. I know that's yes. going to need to be a, a matter of record for the stipend and for the travel to, uh, to back that up. So yeah, because I, I got to give that stuff to Janet every meeting. So me doing this makes it a little bit easier for us. Everybody knows who's who's been there if you weren't able to attend. Right. That's uh, that. That's great. Um, the other item we carried forward was uh, Lindsay was with us last time, uh, and and gave us quite a detailed uh, assessment of, of where things are going with the with the new software. I assume that it came online. I didn't see any nasty emails running around that uh, uh, that there were a lot of problems. So uh, I'm assuming it worked pretty good. Now, are, I'm assuming you're talking about the DOL database, yes. correct? Right. Okay. Um, yeah, we had a, a, a pre AACSC meeting uh, last week. Now uh, the SPAC and that both got canceled yesterday. We're rescheduling those for next week. Um, oh. But okay. the uh, in our pre meeting, it did sound like there was a, a lot of people. Uh, well, sound like there was some people that were uh, not happy, and uh, I know this didn't sound like the system had still been working correctly as far as being able to uh, make payments for apprentices. Um, 
somebody had actually told me they were finally told to just start sending in checks. Uh, so uh, it sounds like they're still got some issues over there to get sorted out. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I didn't know if he was going to make it for our meeting this, uh, this month or not. And uh, so uh, that's, that, that's good. We will talk about that a little bit uh, when we um, get in our new business. Well, uh, one thing, uh, since we're on that, I'll go ahead and bring it up. I know they have uh, basically finally got uh, the chief uh, hired for the electrical. It's going to be David Gray is my understanding. Uh, he's been the electrical inspector at Hot Springs for, for a, long, a long time. Um, so he is going to be taking over that position. My understanding is February 22nd. Uh, I have been in communication with him and he's all on board with the uh, you know, trying to get on to these meetings and attend them uh, once he gets in. So, uh, so we, we should start having him, uh, you know, our ch the chief electrical inspector again being uh, attending these meetings. Good, good. That sounds, that sounds great. Um, any other old business anyone would like to, to bring up? If, if not, we'll move on to new business. Uh, first item was uh, we discussed last time about uh, any vacant uh, committee positions, that if you had any anyone that you'd like to see take on uh, that um, uh, open position to get those names to uh, Derek, and uh, he'd, he'd run them up the flagpole and see, uh, see who saluted. Uh, do we have anything on that, Derek? I did check with Cody just to verify the process. So, uh, in, uh, so the way that would go is y'all just make a nomination uh, whoever, you know, if y'all can come up with anybody, remember this is a non-voting member spot for this committee. Right. Um, but any, uh, anybody y'all feel like we should get on there, uh, we can just let me know. I'll take it to Cody because that has to get approved by the big board, uh, you know, uh, for OSD uh, right. that uh, Cody is over. So, uh, so we just get whatever name and get it to me and we'll, we'll run it to him and he'll get it ran through for us. Okay. That's that doesn't good. have to be from any certain district district or anything. It's uh, just a. Uh, from what I, everything that I can find on that, it does not give much information on the district. We just have that down as a non-voting member. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. I would have, I, I started trying to look and I hadn't found anything yet that gave us any particulars as far as district and thing like that goes. Okay. Well, if y'all know somebody in the Little Rock area, that would probably be ideal so they can make it to the meetings when we go back. I mean, you know. Right. Right. Sure. Uh, you know, and I know, uh, you know, of course, you know, Jack is not here. I know as soon as we start having in-person meetings again, it sounds like he'll be uh, coming to attend them. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, since, since he'll, he'll be at both, both committees, at AACSC and ours. Um, so yeah, that, that'll, that'll be good. Um, and, and on that note, we were going to talk about what the restrictions were going to look like for maybe getting back together again. Um, looks like the case numbers are down, deaths are up. So I don't know what that means, uh, for us getting, getting together, weather permitting, uh, any, any news from the state on what, uh, any of the other offices are doing? Uh, so far, the other two committees, none of them had uh, really shown much interest yet uh, in coming back to in-person meetings. Um, so uh, we're just, we're kind of like what we've been doing here, just kind of taking it one month at a time and mm -hmm. seeing, you know, seeing where everybody's at. Um, I know, you know, it's not going to be a problem for us getting a room if we need one uh, to conduct a in-person meeting, uh, but I know Cody was just would rather have you know more than one or two people attend in order to you know want to hold right. the room up. Right, right. Well, I'd I'd like to see us with more than a couple. Uh, you know, more like we used to when we had seven or eight or more uh, people who would uh, who would come to our meetings and was uh, I, I think a lot better for everyone. We had a lot more discussion that we were able to to do from different points of view. So uh, that'd be that that would be nice. Um, Okay, any other new business uh, anyone would like to, to bring up? Do we have uh, the rules uh, somewhere that uh, for our experience credit written somewhere handy? Because uh, 
Jack got a hold of me and he said that he didn't think that we had uh, we were giving half year credits, and I know we I know we are, uh, but I didn't want to just tell him I know we are, but uh, I'd like to be able to show him a uh, rule that we made because he was involved in making the rules and everything. I think he just doesn't remember it. Right um, now I can um, uh, as far as let's see what these say on that because it does say something about a six month thing there. Uh, I think that I think that's what we made the minimum, but um, uh, he was I guess he was reading through it and uh, and he's ready to get back. He says, but uh, he doesn't think that the uh, online does any good. So. I have a copy of the of our uh, rules that we go by that I can I've shared once I can share them again if I need to. I've got them I've got them written in the um, I've got them written in a, a folder where I keep all the minutes. But um, I was actually looking for a place that they were written that I could just you know even if there was a link to them that I could just say. Yeah, I now I can you know yeah. I can get that uh, sent to you, Roger. The the guidelines and then you could just you know send them wherever you need to send them at that point in time. Okay. Um, um, but uh, let's see, it does. I'm going through here looking. Uh, talks about that. Definitely work trade both sides. He was even involved with us uh, when we made that uh, distinction. I know. So I know right. we've been given given half year all along. Well, you know whether that was correct or not i think uh i think we we all felt like that was reasonable yeah um well half a year's uh you know that's uh if you've got a year's worth of time and half a year's uh quite a bit of time i mean for your of your life sure sure particularly when you're waiting to make another two dollars an hour so <laughs> okay here it is uh, under the guidelines of approval shall be as follows number one says work experience credit will only be approved in increments of six months. For example, an applicant who has served seven months of bona fide work experience will receive six months. So, and that is on page four of our uh, uh, SEAC guidelines. Yeah, if you would just email that to me and- um, Okay. I'll email it to him and- I will do that. Derek, if you would email uh, that to me like also. I haven't been able to find mine. Okay. All right. Uh, well, I, what I'll do is I'll just I'll just put it in a group and send everybody, and then that way, in case somebody can't find it, we everybody have it. Thank you, Derek. That'll work. You, yeah, that'll work good. Hey, that way, that way, when you send it to the group, Jack will get it automatically too. And uh... yes, yes. Okay. Yep, everybody had it. That work good. Good. That that will work. Well, speaking of credit, uh, let's uh, move move on to that and uh, experience credit. Uh, both of these uh, gentlemen are in their last time before this uh, before this committee. So um, we'll start with uh, Christopher uh, San Nicholas. Um, I, I see we've gotten a uh, uh, a letter from Claraday. Uh, yes, uh, basically what we received this last time uh, was, uh, I'm sorry, uh, and Dr. Hamby, that's Williams first and Shelton is second. I didn't have that, or the, uh, San Nicholas is second. Oh. There we go. All right, keep on going down through that, Dr. Hamby. Got it. You tell me where you'd like okay. me to start. Here's so, that clear day letter. Yep, yep, scroll down a little bit more. This was the letter that we received from uh, after I called and talked to Mr. Nicholas and talked to Mr. Clareday. Uh, I told them, you know, we need, uh, you know, basically what we were looking for. We were looking for that DD-214 with the job code of that Navy 50, CE-5635 on it, um, you know, because we had all looked at his previous information, which I have it here, uh, but none of them mention this job code anywhere. Uh, so I told them that's, you know, with what our rules and regs say at this point in time, uh, that that was basically what we got to have something that has, makes that determination in the job code status in order to approve credit. Um, but 
you know, he has all kinds of all kinds of things there in his paperwork that he had submitted to us before. Um, but you know, that was, you know, that's kind of where we left it. Go down one more, Dr. Hamby. I sure will. All right, my mouse will cooperate. Here we go. All right, this is the thing I got sent. Uh, the letter in this was what I got sent to me this last time after calling and talk to him, um, talking to him, this was what I received. So as you kind of see, I mean, it still doesn't give us, uh, you know, any job codes or anything. I mean, I, you know, I just kind of told them what we were looking for, but it doesn't seem like we still never really received exactly what we were asking for. MO 311 R2. Hmm. Yeah, that CID Looks like the, the the course was like two months, fifty eight calendar days. Uh, yeah, for that one particular one. Yeah, uh, that's what I'm assuming. Uh, is that fifty eight CD is what that's what I would assume. So it, um, it was a, a two month class in two thousand and eight. Yes. I know one of the questions that we've been having is that all of this documentation is is like 2009, I think the latest one was 2011 maybe. Right. Uh, and how many code cycles ago that was. Right, exactly. Um, you know, cause our, our stuff does say has, uh, you know, in order to, to do that time, it should be, you know, within the last two NEC cycles or six years. So it looks like majority, if not uh, almost all of his experience comes from you know, a later than six month time or six year time frame. Mm -hmm. Can you scroll down just a little bit further because it says avionics and ordnance and uh, you know, and see that was a you that's... know a lot of stuff I noticed is <clears throat> it talked about avionics and other things uh, that I you know normally would not think of as being in uh, actual you know day to day electrical work. Yeah. Yeah, well, ordinance is definitely not a. You know, for example, one of the things he had turned in was from 2010. It was electrical connector repair organizational maintenance course. Uh, now, of course, there is a kind of a code is sat attached to that, but it's not the one that we're looking for. And then there's a electrical technician initial ascension course uh, and then he's got a certificate for electrical systems organizational le level connector repair course um, you know i'm seeing a lot of c's and uh, other documentation on all these certificates but none of them come right out and say this ce 5635 right and see that's what it's gonna have to say because I mean, we've run into it before and before and before, and we've tried to tell these guys, whatever your classification was, I mean, just because you repaired cords mm -hmm. doesn't make you, um, I hate it for them, but I mean, unless it's their MOU, there's nothing we can really do unless we have that MOU code that has been researched for so long and states that these are definitely courses that we can give credit for. Mm -hmm. I would I would think that uh, you know, what Richard is saying is is one point, the second point, or the two code cycle uh, requirement. Um, which it doesn't meet that either, uh, at least in, in my assessment of it. Um, and well, I, that and I, be, I, I, what is what was that IDC journeyman on that last one? It said, uh, 
Yes. Uh, there you go. There you go. CNL, JIT. I'm not sure how to turn that around. Derek, do you know how to flip that so y'all can see it? Uh, that's fine. That's fine. It's, uh, is that okay? I, I know, y'all, I'm laughing while yeah. I see everybody's just straining their necks. Yeah, going left and right. <laughs> Dr. Hamby, I'm, I'm looking at your screen. Three hour course. I, I'm yeah. looking at your screen there on the yeah. where you see the file and open. If you look down that line to your right, like the third button from the left or Over from the here. right. Yeah, it looks like a keep on going. The little start a little more. Keep on going right next to that to the left of that green arrow. Keep on going. Two more over three over. other way. Other way. Oh, there you go. OK, I know. I know there was a way to do it. Ah, hey, yeah. there we go. Hey, I, know, right. I personally was enjoying the other. I know. I y'all. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm so terrible. I was enjoying this whole business, but OK, thank you. <laughs> Well, that's a uh, like Richard said. That's a three-hour course on the web right. based training. So uh, yeah, yeah, that's not anything. Uh, and that was. Uh, that, I mean, good. that might totally be a refresher course that he's got, just like our code. You know, our code classes. Right. right but right. I mean, what I was getting at is, without that MOU, that's the beginning of it. That right. that hurt him from the beginning. And like, I agree with Richard 100%. Then the code picks up, which he's over two cycles. So, I mean, it's, you know, what I was getting at was his MOU hurts him from the beginning, but then but to end it all up for his case, he's over he's over two years of, a, of code cycles gone, and that pretty much lets I him not help anything. him at all. Like you said, though, I don't even see anything that says he was in the code. Right. Now, my assumption, gentlemen, and you see all these certificates we were going through, we see a, a C602 dash something else. Um, you know, I mean, I would assume if if he had what we were looking for, that we would see somewhere in this documentation, somewhere this uh, CE5635 would mm -hmm. be my assumption. Correct. And I'm not seeing it anywhere. I'd like to fix connection. because they would have it if it was any type of course that was related to a construction MOU, it would be on that certificate. That code number would be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Most of these courses that I see on here just shows that it's a C 130 electrical systems uh, connector repair course, which really doesn't relate anything to construction at all. Mm -hmm. Right. I like it. Yeah. Well, I mean, he works on a KC-130, so, you know, whether it's a tanker or what, um, that's what, what they're indicating here. So I, it sounds more like that it's, you know, aircraft or uh, somehow maybe communications uh, oriented uh, rather than, than building construction type uh, experience. Right, more specifically related to a certain aspect of it, not the, mm -hmm. whole, the whole scope. Or... Yeah. Well, I will entertain a motion from uh, someone as to how to proceed with this one. I'll make a motion that, I mean, we would love to help the guy, but without any provided clarifying an actual MOU that there's nothing we can do. So we would simply say denied. Yeah, denied. Okay. I have a motion that would tell Mr. Uh, San Nicholas that his uh, request is denied uh, and, and give him those two reasons why the two code cycles and the, uh, uh, and the code number of what, what we had asked for. Uh, do I have a second? I'll second that motion. Okay. 
Uh, I have a motion and a second to deny the request from uh, Christopher San Nicholas. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? None. Let's show that it is uh, denied. Uh, I will uh, sign this one and send that to you, Derek. Okay. And then I will, of course, get a you know letter out to them. Okay. Uh, letting everybody know. Okay. Uh, sorry, I got that out of order, guys. I, I was looking at the uh, minutes rather than the uh, <laughs> or the agenda rather than the email. So uh, I, I jumped ahead in the email. Um, Not problem. Let's look uh, look at Jerry Williams, who's also uh, uh, up for the last time in front of the committee. Uh, we have now have notary on, yes. on, uh, on the forms. Yes, ma'am, or yes, sir. Uh, we we did receive his uh, notarized affidavit uh, from his previous employer, uh, done right this time, not on that paperwork that we were looking at originally. Uh, right. You right. want to scroll down, Doctor Handy? Down. I sure can. I sure can. You tell me where to stop, Derek. Okay, so this we're getting to it here is his affidavit. Mm -hmm. And there is notarized. Yep. And there's our notarized. Okay. And, uh, you know, and according to the, to the guidelines here, you know, we can do 50% since he has not attended a apprenticeship school, USDOL approved in the past, uh, we can give him 50, you know, 50% of that time. Yeah. So how many total hours are we seeing here? I'm seeing 62. Yeah. Yes. He was asking. 206. So we can give him half of that. Is that correct? Correct. We could give him a year and a half. Right? Yes. <clears throat> oh, I see what you're saying, Richard. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Based on the 2000 hour work year. Correct. Mm -hmm. Having just okay. over, we, you would have to round it to the 6,000. So yeah. you could give him a year and a half, no problem. Yeah, yeah. Because we go in six months increments. That's what I was saying. I just want to make sure y'all were saying the same thing. Yeah. Okay, I'll entertain a motion to that effect. I'll make a motion to uh, give... Uh, one and a half years of credit towards the apprenticeship. Second. Okay, very good. I have a motion and a second to uh, give Jerry Williams a year and a half based on the rounded 6,000 hours of, uh, of credit. All in favor, aye. 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 Opposed? Jerry's, I will uh, sign this one for you as well, Derek, and, uh, and get that copy to you with a year and a half on it. Okay. Who did the second on that? Me. Okay. Okay, good. Good. We finally cleared those. <laughs> around yes. <the> top. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, and, and we I, we will have another one upcoming. Um, I know uh, yeah, National Park is going to be sending one, but they had not ran it through their local committee just yet. So uh, they're going to run it through there and then get it back to us. So I would assume we'll have another one for next time. Okay, no, that'll work. Uh, moving on to reports, uh, has Randy got stuff for us uh, this month? Um, he is obviously not attending. I did uh, uh, send that information to Dr. Handy. Uh, so we could at least get it looked at on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and pull that up. Give me one more okay. minute. All righty. Eric, I think you sent me two. This is the first one, I believe. Okay. 
so this one, guys, is the, uh, uh, you know, just uh, number of apprentices as far as totals. We have our new apprentices there from the middle to the left, from other to the left, and then completed to the right. Uh, so uh, looks like so far in February, he, he does have three down there. It looks like totals for January, uh, 244 new in construction, 41 new in IT, one in manufacturing and six in other. Uh, and then with a completed in January, 31 in construction, seven in IT and two in the other. Uh, so and we, we got a few down there, uh, new and uh, completed down there in February so far. So it's, it's moving along. Yeah, January is like twice what uh, what we had back in the fall per month. Yes. Oh, we've been busy. Yeah. Yes, yeah, been very busy. Uh, well, that's good. Well, our unemployment is down to 3.1%, and then the next thing you know, it's going to end up going negative. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> Uh, I, I we don't, don't we don't have any uh unemployment here uh, you're not working it's because uh somebody's giving you money without you having to. <laughs> yeah yeah we don't have don't have much here either uh, seems to be a lot going on but uh that is that is extremely uh, encouraging uh if if that keeps up mm -hmm. that's good uh, uh dr hamby you want to bring up that other one sure well, I know it's not in the construction industry, but I can tell you how bad it is at Baptist Hospital. The health, the head department managers of maintenance, powerhouse, boilers, construction, they are being told that they will volunteer for night shift to help change bed pans and take water because the hospital is so full and there's such a shortage of nurses. Wow. I'm not changing bedpans. I don't care what somebody says. <laughs> yeah. That's not going to happen. More people. <laughs> that's just not going to happen. Hey, great. <laughs> that's just going to happen. I just know. I'll find somebody to give me a check for I'll do that. That's up. Well. <laughs> oh, Roger. <laughs> I, 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 just, I couldn't do it. I just couldn't do it. It's, yeah, it's, it's tough. It's tough duty. And uh, especially when, if you're having to work ICU where the people are just hanging on by their fingernails. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They're not, they're not, it's not going to be pretty. No. That's, um, no. no yeah. um, you, you didn't sign up for that. And, uh, you know, that's just, uh, I couldn't see them that they could pay electrician uh, well enough to uh, have them do that anyway. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Uh, wow. That's well, rough. things are looking looking good as far as the schools are con concerned. I mean, they're uh, obviously they're employed as well as going to school. Uh, Roger, your uh, your school is full, right? Uh, I think your volume went off. There. All right, hey, uh, Dr. Hamby, did we did you pull up the one of one last time or one of two last time? Well, sure thought I pulled up the right one. Hang on a second, okay. There's this. Is this the one you were looking for, Derek? No, Here's I was the, looking. I was looking for. So the that's other one. the two. That's that's two of two, and this was yep. one. Okay, so did you want to see the, this one? Uh, the the one of two. One of two. Okay. That's what this one is, at least according to my email. This one's saved as February 22nd. Uh, Not sure why. Okay. Uh, numbers one of two. And then this one says two of two, Derek. Okay. Yeah. Let's see the one of two. Okay. Here's one of two. I hadn't switched yet. Oh, well, that's crazy. Sometimes I have to do a new share. 
So here's one of two. Let's try this again, gentlemen. How's that? All right. Yeah, there you go. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so as you see, our active number of programs have stayed, has stayed steady at 122. Uh, as far as overall over there through all the programs, uh, number of new apprentices, it shows 713, I guess, for the year. Uh, that's up 330. So they had a, had a big number there. Uh, a total overall, Randy has, is 7,518. Uh, we suspended 22. He's canceled 459 total for the year. It went up 124 this last month. Uh, completed, uh, completed 54. Uh, so sitting at a 748 employer. So that went up seven from the month before. So. Oh, well, that's good news too. So getting some more employers in the system. Uh -huh. All right. Those uh, completed numbers, Derek. That uh, does that mean they've they've just completed their apprenticeship, or that they've attained a journeyman license? I would say that just means they completed their apprenticeship. Okay. okay. Correct. All right. That's all I had for Randy on his numbers. So. Okay. Um, what are we looking at? Let me find my deal here. Okay. Then, uh, anything on the, uh, from ARDOL? Um, uh, I had it, you know, I haven't heard anything from them. Just like I said, the date earlier, they do have a chief hired and he should be starting the 22nd, uh, okay. February. So, uh, we should have him on here, uh, next meeting next month. So that'll, that'll be good. Look forward to that. Uh, OSD. Uh, so, um, to give you all first uh, update on the, the database system, uh, we made it live for us in-house as of on Tuesday. Uh, so, I have been uh, working through it, uh, got getting some issues fixed. Uh, so, um, working uh, also on with the, the CSV file upload that we are utilizing to, to where the apprenticeship schools wouldn't have to go and for example, if we got 50 new apprentices, they wouldn't have to go enter in all of them one, in, one at a time. Uh, they'll be able to basically download this to like an Excel spreadsheet in a certain format and we'll be able to upload it and it automatically populate the database for them. So I think that will hopefully save y'all some time. Uh, we do have the uh, hour one, uh, the hours one is already in there for like semester reports. Uh, also have them working on one for cancellations. Uh, mm. I know a lot of times our, our schools, especially electrical and plumbing, uh, where it can get to where they are canceling, you know, a bunch of individuals at one time. Uh, and this getting this format uh, done for the upload uh, should help uh, alleviate some paperwork and stuff on them there as well. Uh, they'll just be able to get it all put on one spreadsheet and upload it and it take care of it at one time. Instead of uh, what we're doing right now, they would basically, you know, if you had 20 of them, we'd have to fill out 20, uh, 230 forms. So uh, this, this hopefully will help cut down on some of the time they're spending on having to do all these individual forms. So, uh, so far it's, it's, it's working, working so far. Like I said, I, we, I got her getting me some issues corrected. So uh, I'm trying to get all as many bugs worked out as possible uh, with me in the live version before I start turn, uh, letting some of our schools test. Uh, and then we'll you know, see if they have anything else they need to add or some things that we could address to try to help make it easier for them. Uh, and we'll try to get that taken care of before then we push it out live to everybody. So, okay. so, so far, I, I think it's going to, it's tracking the right direction. Good. Good. Been a long time coming. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I was looking at it. It looked like they had started uh, filling out the paperwork and all that back towards the end of 20 round sometime towards the end of 2020. So yeah, uh, it has been a long time coming. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. so now at least we have it live for us now. So, 
whatever I do in it is going to stay there. I'm not having to go and do it twice anywhere. So sure, sure. Um, <clears throat> I uh, had one thing I was going to kind of bring up or ask about uh, is uh, have we got anything going into the fiscal session uh, looking for money, additional support money, anything like that? Not that I'm aware of. Okay. Okay, so we've got we've got sufficient funds to cover what we what we have planned out for this year. I know that's always been a question in the past is whether we whether we were going to get enough or had enough. Gotcha. Uh, uh, no, no. I, as far as my understanding goes, right now I, I'm assuming we're okay there. Uh, nothing's okay. been brought up about that uh, from AACSC or uh, you know our department in uh, lack of funds. So. Okay. Okay, that's that's good. I, you know, the programs are expanding, and that's why I was, uh, mm -hmm. you know, why I was asking that because uh, you know, looking at those numbers going up, uh, we, you know, we've got to be sure we can support the, those uh, that increased uh, student count. Well, and you know, you know, speaking of that, you know, um, which our AACSC committee was canceled yesterday. We'll get it on board next week, uh, but we do one new school that will be coming on board for funding. That'd be Eagle Electric. Uh, they're out of Benton area. Mm. Uh, they're basically just their employers or their employees will be attending this school. Yeah. Um, so, um, but they, they will be getting, uh, I'll have them getting approved for funding uh, as soon as we get that one. And then we have a, a first Orion. It's an IT profession also that will be uh, getting approved for funding. Um, we do have uh, Roush Electric. They're over around, uh, I think, over you know, uh, East Arkansas. Uh, you know, they're in their, uh, I guess, midway point of their first year. So that would be something more likely that possibly could be coming on board, you know, uh, for funding in the, in the fall. Okay. So as, other than that, I don't know of any other new electrical programs or anything that's, you know, looking to add funding yet. Okay. Uh, Roger, follow up on one of the issues that, uh, that you had, I haven't heard any more on. Did you, uh, uh, are you satisfied with the response you got about the solicitations from the state? You're muted. Ah. Roger, we cannot hear you. <laughs> I'm hoping he'll notice the me holding my ear. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got a technical issue there. Yeah. We see you talking mouth moving, but we don't hear it. Yeah, I have to use sign language. There you go. <laughs> well, that's okay. I I was just I just wanted to, to be sure something had kind of gotten through on that that everybody was satisfactory. I'm sure Roger would have told us if it wasn't. So uh, right, right. Anyway, very, uh, very, very good. Yeah. Any, uh, any last minute things anyone has to, uh, to offer? Can you hear me now? Now oh, we, we can hear. Hey, there you go. There hey, you go. there you be. Yeah, I don't know how that got switched or anything, but um, yeah, uh, no, I, um, yeah, I'm okay with the state right now. They, uh, until they go changing things up again, you know, it's uh. Seems like a never ending process. They, you know, but, and I'm all for change as long as it makes it easier. But, um, you know, I don't think, don't if think it they, helps the problem and it doesn't create more problems. Yeah. Well, I, I just I can't see that. I can't see the state capable of uh, teaching uh, apprentices better than electricians can. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody's been to school here. So I rest my case. I mean, we all know that not knocking schooling and all, but I mean, we have to go to schooling, but this trade, you get a quarter of it out of school. You learn 75% of it by a journeyman electrician who teaches it to you in the yeah. field. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, that sounds uh, that that sounds good, everybody. We we, we appreciate everyone that could uh, could be here this month. Uh, uh, Derek, I think uh, I'll get these two uh, signed to you and uh, send those off to you this afternoon. Uh, Dr. Hamby, anything you'd like to to add to this conversation? Well, I would like to let you gentlemen know that I have been working today on um, diving into uh, about a 500 page document. Um, I love how Cody sends these to me. They're just so fun. <laughs> but it's um, it's really important as well. So I feel very honored to be part of the group that's diving into this very long document. That's all about some future funding that we're looking at we can possibly receive on the broadband telecommunications piece. So I'm looking at, at um, this guidebook that was issued by President Biden um, that is going to be um, in the trillions of dollars for infrastructure and apprenticeship, I believe, could play a real important part in that. So the document I've been looking at mentions apprenticeship a couple of times and mentions workforce training. So I'm in the process of putting together a report and I can tell you guys more about it maybe next month. Um, and I'm also part of assisting Cody with this committee that's looking at doing some really exciting work. And that definitely could lead into uh, apprenticeship with regards to uh, broadband, telecommunications, um, linemen, you know, folks that are up in the towers and also uh, down in the ground laying all that groundwork, literally. Um, so I'll keep you updated on that. Um, and I'll, of course, keep Derek informed as well. But if there's any way those monies could funnel its way to um, more apprenticeship opportunities and more development of jobs, then uh, we'll definitely continue to update you on that. So some real exciting uh, grant funding possibilities for us down the road. Good, good. That sounds great. Um, so our next meeting will be uh, in March. I didn't look at the calendar to see what the date it's is. March 4th. 4th. Okay. Um, that's that's right. February, yeah, March. Yeah, it's got 28 days this month. It I just messes remember. everything up. <laughs> uh, getting slow in my old age. Yes. Okay. March 4th. Um, <clears throat> we'll assume we're going to meet by Zoom unless any, if something changes. Uh, right. uh, if, if so, Derek, I know you'll send an email out to everybody and, uh, and, and let us know that. Um, again, there's no reason to meet uh, in person if we're only going to have two people or three people, um, but it sure would be nice to get to get back together again, uh, face to face. And, um, and, and it's been two years, over two years. Yes, um, it has. Yeah, that, yep. that, 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 that would be nice. It would be now, nice. Hey, hey, I will bring this up. At least now y'all will be able to get a stopping for your travel and stuff like that as well. So we, exactly. we do have that going for you once we start doing in-persons again. That sure. you haven't been able to get in the yeah, past. They're, yeah, they're, they're, they're not going to give you travel to do Zoom. Right. Uh, yeah, in fact, if we see that, we might even get together maybe over at the Faded Rose or something like that for lunch before we have our meeting. That would be... That would be awesome. Are you buying, Rick? Are you buying? <laughs> hey, you know, but I, we'll, 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 we'll see about that. We'll see if the bar <laughs> <laughs> after the meeting. Jack will appreciate that. Uh, anyway, uh, very good, uh, everybody. I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. I've got uh, 151. I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. 